Electronic communications are slowly becoming the primary medium of communication in today's organization. Electronic communications include email, text messaging, networking software, blogs, and video conferencing. Let's start then. First of all, email. Email uses the internet to transmit and receive computer generated text and documents. Its growth has been spectacular and its use is now so pervasive it's hard to imagine a life without it. Email messages can be quickly written, edited and stored. They can be distributed to one person or thousands with a click of a mouse. And the cost of sending formal email messages to employees is a fraction of the cost of printing, duplicating and distributing a comparable letter or brochure. And as you can see, email is not without its drawbacks. These are the most significant limitations of the email service. There is a risk of misinterpreting the message. It is true that we often misinterpret verbal messages, but the potential to misinterpret email is even greater. If you are sending an important message, make sure that you reread it for clarity. Email may not be the best way to communicate negative information. Emails are also overused nowadays and it is overloading the readers. Just check your inbox and you will know what I am trying to say. There is also a limitation of expression of the emotion. We tend to think of email as a sort of sterile, faceless form of communication. Some researchers say that the lack of visual and vocal cues mean emotionally positive messages like those including praise will be seen as more emotionally neutral than the sender intended. But as you know, emails are often highly emotional. Emails tend to have a disinhibiting effect on people. Without the recipient's facial expression to temper their emotional expression, senders write things they'd never be comfortable saying in person. Then we also have privacy concerns. First of all, your emails might be monitored. And also, you cannot always trust the recipient of your email to keep it confidential. They can just easily forward your message with one click. Then we have instant messaging or text messaging. Like email, Instant messaging and short messaging service use electronic media. Unlike email, IM and text messaging either occur in real time or use portable communication devices. In just a few years, IM and SMS have become pervasive. As you no doubt know from experience, IM is usually sent via computer, whereas text is transmitted via cell phones or handheld devices such as Blackberries and iPhone. Despite their advantages, IM and texts are not going to replace email. Email is still probably a better device for conveying long messages that must be saved. IM is preferable for one or two line messages that would just clutter up an email inbox. On the downside, some IM users might find the technology to be intrusive and distracting. Its continual presence can make it hard for employees to concentrate and stay focused. It can also be seen as too informal. Then we also have social networking. Nowhere has communication been more transformed than in the rise of social networking. Some studies have said that social networking might soon replace email as the primary form of business communication for a large number of organizations. Then we have blogs. A blog is a website about a single person or company. Blog is actually short form for web blog. These websites are usually updated on a daily basis. Blogs although are popular but they can be potentially dangerous for the organization. Employees might post some harmful information regarding the organization. These posts can also be the reason of dismissal of that said employee. Sometimes writing or updating a blog in company time can be against the company policy. Lastly, we also have video conferencing. Video conferencing permits the employees in an organization to have real-time meetings with people at different locations. Live audio and video images lets participants see, hear and talk with each other without being physically in the same location. And that would be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new today.